Hello there, I'm very excited to create today's video because we just released version 3.2.0 of the Polylang AI Automatic Translation plugin with a major update to the bulk translator. We completely redesigned the UI and added a few new features, which I'm going to demo to you now. So here on the left, we have the languages. You can select them all or select them language by language. Then here you have post types. You can also select everything or specific post types. And if you select languages, then you see per post type, the language, the remaining translations, the translated posts and the total. You also have this for taxonomies where you can select them all or piece by piece. Now you see if I add a new taxonomy, it appears here with the selected languages. So if I want to add French too, then I get all the details for French as well. We can do this for text string groups too. So these are fixed strings in your theme. You can add them here. And then you have the additional settings uh, panel. Here you can give additional instructions to the AI to improve your translations. And then we have the bulk size field. This field determines how many translations will be translated during one bulk cycle. Then you have the progress bar, which keeps progress of all the translations. So in total here, 15 remaining, zero translated, and a total of 15. The progress bar also shows the status, which I'm going to demo you in a bit if we start a book translation. And then we have the logs section, which is also a new feature. Um, in this section, logs will appear based on the translation process. So if translations are successfully translated, you will see them here. But also if there are any errors, you will also see them here. Okay, now quickly demo. I've created five posts in English. Easy post just for demo purposes. And I've created a few categories, clothing, pants, shirts, shoes. So now let's run the bulk translator. So let's say we start with Dutch, German and French. We have selected post already. If we want to translate product categories, you can see they are there are four here. Let's disable the text strings because we're not going to do it now. We can set this, for example, to 100 because we do not have more in one bulk size. Before we click the start bulk translation, I want to show you one more thing. It's the refresh button and the refresh button can always be used if you, for example, make a small change, for example, to posts, then the system stores that there's a new change to be translated. And then if we go back to the bulk translator, we click refresh to see the new change. So let me quickly show it to you. Let's say I'm creating a quick test blog post with some content. Click publish. Now there's a new post that needs translation, but it's not there yet, still five. So if I click refresh, then it becomes six. So that's the purpose of the refresh button. It will always get you the latest stats. But if you click start bulk translation, it also fires the refresh button. So now let's start the bulk translation. Click here. Waiting for scheduled translations to be processed in the background because the bulk translator works with WordPress native action scheduler, which is a background process. It is triggered by the WordPress Chrome. 
So it waits for the first cron job to start and now it's running. And now you will see soon it will start showing the progress. There are already logs here. And here you see 17% now. One out of five remaining. Here you have a nice log of what is translated already. You can also click and it opens in a new tab. So you see here's the Dutch version translated already. So now all posts are translated. Now it starts translating, translating the categories. Here you keep seeing the logs. You can also visit other screens while the translation is running. Come back. And it's done. 100%, zero remaining, 30 translated, total of 30. Here's the log, as you can see clothing, for example, translated in German, French. Blog post, translated in Dutch, German, French. Let's see the German version. German version, French version. Okay, so far the update of the new version of the Polylang AI Automatic Translation plugin. If you any, have any questions, please feel free to reach out anytime. And I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Good luck with translating in bulk. Bye.